Good morning, my beloved students. How are you today? Hopefully, you're leading good life. You're enjoying your time. Today, our lesson is related to the my um, figures. They are so important for the um, establishing a highly um, uh, unique um, uh, caliphate. So, we'll start with Musa ibn Nusir, and we all know that Musa ibn Nusir became the governor of Rafia at the start of the eighth century. So, who was the governor of Rafi at this time? Um, and during the 8th century, he was Musa ibn al Musir. Um, what were his achievements? Right, two, only two of his achievements. He expanded the Islamic State. So, the Islamic State was not so big. He really opened new countries and he extended it and he expanded the Islamic State. Also, Musa made Cordoba the capital of Al Andalus, and at this time, Cordoba and Al Andalus were like the um, hub for knowledge, for experience, for uh, discoveries, for um, great uh, celebration for humanity. Humanity were uh, able to move forwards in all um, factor, both scientific and uh, related to knowledge, experience, and, and work and exploration, discoveries. So. He had a great role at this time. Cordoba was the center or the hub for achievement. Number three, Musa ibn Nusr is said to have died in the castle of Al Ola on a head from Damascus to uh, Mecca. So, where uh, was he? Where was his body uh, buried, or uh, where did he die at this time? Musa ibn Nusr is said to have died in the castle of Al Ola on head from the mosques to uh, Mecca. Number four, Tariq ibn Ziyad was an Umayyad general. It was a Berber, most of his soldiers too. So Tariq ibn Ziyad was an Umayyad general. He was also a Berber and most of his soldiers uh, too were the same like uh, him. Number five, Tariq ibn Ziyad and his troops landed in the place known as Gibraltar, uh, or uh, in Arabic, call it Gibraltar. Okay, so these are uh, um, the figures that were so famous during that time. The Umayyad Caliphate, they like had a great role at this time. The Umayyad Caliphate with the Cordoba um, in the center was uh, doing great uh, job for humanity and uh, human beings. Human people were leading a um, an advanced sort of life. So, um, Tariq was a courageous and inspiring leader. Tariq ibn Ziyad was really one of the best uh, leaders uh, of the whole world at this time. He was like a great job for humanity and he was uh, leading his nation to the uh, utmost level of success. That's why he was a courageous person and was an inspiring leader and was a genuine uh, Leader for his uh, own niche. Uh, number seven, right to achievement of Tariq ibn Ziyad, he defeated the Visigoths and he conquered uh, Gibraltar. And this, uh, these were great achievements because at this time, uh, conquering the um, uh, Gibraltar and defeating the Visigoths was, uh, or these tasks were actually very hard to be accomplished. Only great men like Tariq ibn Ziyad were able to uh, accomplish these. Um, uh, possible missions. The name uh, Jabal Tar comes from the Arabic word uh, Jabal Tar, which means the mountain of Tar. So the word Jabal Tar comes from the uh, name of um, uh, the name Jabal Tar, which means the amount of uh, the mount of uh, Tar. And number nine, um, Ibn Zarqali was uh, an astronomer. And he was born in Toledo, and he became a highly skilled uh, metal worker. He invented the new type of uh, astrolog. So uh, Ibn Zarqal was really an excellent person. He was like um, working in the field of astronomy, and he was born in Toledo and became a highly skilled metal worker. And uh, luckily enough, he invented the new type of uh, astrolog. Okay. Number 10, Abu Qasim uh, was a famous surgeon and a scientist. He wrote a book named Al Tasrif, and this book was uh, so important for uh, people working in the field of surgery and science. So, Abu Qasim 
was a famous surgeon who wrote a book named al Tisrif. So he had great achievement at this time. So um, again, Musa ibn Musir became the governor of Riqya at the start of the 8th century. Right to achievements of Musa ibn Musir. Number one, he expanded the Muslim state, the Islamic state or the Muslim countries. And he made Cordoba the capital of Al-Andalus. Musa ibn Nusir um, uh, is said to have died in the castle of Al-Ula on a hatch from the mosques to Mecca. So where uh, was he buried? He, uh, where did he die? Musa ibn Nusir is said to have died in the castle in Al-Ula on, on a hatch from the mosques to Mecca. Tariq ibn Ziyad was an Umayyad general. He was Persian. Most of his soldiers too were the same like him. And Tariq ibn Ziyad was a great person. Uh, he and his troops landed in a place known as uh, Gibraltar, uh, and uh, actually this man was a courageous and inspiring leader, Tariq ibn Ziyad. And uh, he achieved two, uh, many, many great things among uh, them, defeating or destroying or killing or um, putting an end to the uh, Visigoths and the um, conquering Gibraltar. And the name Gibraltar comes from the Arabic word um, Jabal Tariq, which means the mountain of Tariq. Ibn uh, Zarqali was an astronomer and he was born in Toledo. He became a highly skilled metal worker and he invented a new type of astronomy. Abu Qasim was a famous surgeon scientist and wrote a book uh, named at Sharif, and these are. So our lesson today focus on some um, um, unique figures in the Islamic uh, culture in the Umayyad Caliphate um, time, and these people Tariq ibn Ziyad had really a great role for um, establishing a unique um, and a uh, gorgeous um, uh, countries and cultures, and, uh, leading humanity in general for. A advancement for progress and they did really a great job at this time and the uh, due to the great efforts they did for at this time for their own nation the Umayyad Caliphate uh, was uh, moving up for was moving up was moving forward uh, so these people were so inspiring and great uh, this is our lesson for today thank you so much and have a nice morning don't forget to do your homework thank you